Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some things to unbox and some things to talk about. Uh, it's the day after Thanksgiving, so it's Black Friday here. Uh, we're all sick. It's been a rough, it's been a, a rough, um, like four or five months, honestly, since August. We've been sick so many times. And I got a daughter's in daycare, and, you know, she went from having three kids in her class to, like, eight or nine now, and it's just, like... It's constant, but anyway, I wanted to do this video, and um, I apologize if the lighting looks a little different. I Luckily, I just ordered some new studio lights. Hopefully, they'll be better than what I've had. They have kind of like the uh, umbrellas over them. We'll see how they turn out, but the ones I've had are starting to go, um, and one of them actually literally just broke. Like, the wire came out. I tried to rig it up, and I couldn't, and the other one is ready to go, too, so... That could turn off at any moment. Uh, but anyway, I'm working on that. Um, so real quick, um, let me talk about my friends giving with uh, my buddies in the Shadow Rangers group chat. So Kyle, D2M Knives and Gear, Jake, Bearded Gear, and um, Chris from Grady's Gear, and myself have a group chat. And um, essentially... We're just really good buddies. I'd say they're best friends. Um, and that's in general, not just knife-related stuff. We talk family and, and whatever. But last year, we did a cool holiday sort of gift exchange where we kind of sent each other a silly gift, right? And this year, what happened is this knife came out. The Dylan Mallory Designs Forest came out. It was a pre-order and none of those guys actually got in on the pre-order, which surprised me because I know they all like Dylan and they've met him. And well, I don't know if Chris has met him, but I know Kyle and Jake have. Um, and it's definitely their style of knife. I mean, the only thing I can think of is for Kyle, maybe it's a little too thin, but it should be long enough. It has a huge choil. Um, anyway, I was just surprised that none of them had gotten one and I was raving about it and... I happen to uh, sell my, I got a lefty hinderer XM18 and in a trade uh, sale for that knife, I got another Forest um, because I love this knife so much. That's what happens, guys. When I love a knife so much, I tend to get multiples of it um, and I just was like, yeah, I'll take it even though I had one already. So I was like, you know what? This is perfect. I'm going to give it to Kyle. So... Um, I did that deal and I sent it to Kyle and then I was like, you know what? I should get one for each of the boys, right? That'll be the, the friends giving sort of gift exchange thing this year, uh, from me anyway. And I did, I found two more on the secondary. Um, it's odd, but they're popping up on knife swap. I've seen a few on knife swap. Uh, I think I might've seen one on Facebook. So they are popping up. There's only 200, but you know, not everybody, uh, loves every knife and or maybe they needed to recoup funds but I was able to get two more uh, which was awesome because if I wasn't it would have been kind of brutal only having two of them to give and so anyway I made sure I could get all three and um, I just sent it to those guys they should be getting them uh, soon I think Chris got his today he put up a video which is awesome but because I sent those those guys felt like they should send me something which I didn't expect that i didn't you know i wasn't looking for that i just really love this knife and i wanted my friends to enjoy it too like it's sort of selfish right like i want them to like justify me saying how awesome this knife is <laughs> I, I spent a lot of money doing that but it's totally worth it and i love those guys but so they sent me a couple packages and i just want to show you what they got me it's not really knife related one of them is um but here, so Wednesday I got home and there was a package and I was like, what the hell is this? Because they didn't tell me. And I got this package from Amazon with these awesome Beats headphones. So these are wireless Beats Studio Buds. Um, and these are amazing. And the coolest thing is they now, because I think Apple owns Beats or something, they now are compatible. So like, all I had to do was flip this open and it popped right up on my phone. I just hit connect, bang. Um, 
they're different than what I'm used to. Like, I really like the, I don't want them to connect. Oh, no, I have airplane mode on. Um, they're different than what I'm used to. I love AirPods, guys, because they really fit my ears, like, perfectly. But the sound isn't that great on them. And the battery seems to suck. Um, so I was really kind of like, yes, this is awesome. I'll be able to try something different. And they're so compatible with Apple, it works. And these actually have active noise canceling. And my favorite is a transparency mode. So when I'm on a walk with my kid, I can put that on. I can hear a car coming from any direction. Uh, but I can still watch my YouTube video or listen. I've been rocking out to some music because I got these. I'm not usually a music guy, but man, they sound so good compared to AirPods. So you'll probably still see me rocking AirPods. Um, I still love them, obviously, but um, I'm definitely going to be using these on my walks and like probably for live streams because the batteries seem better. Um, so anyway, they got me a set of those and I was like, damn, that was a very, very nice gift from them. And they were like, Dude, there's another package coming on Friday. I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Um, so today, I got this. Check this thing out. It's this cool leather case. Musin. And to keep the uh, music theme going, check this thing out. Look at that. It's a Bluetooth. Look at how it sits in there. It's so cool. Um, it's a Bluetooth speaker. That's like retro looking. And so you can connect it to uh, Bluetooth. You can connect it to uh, an auxiliary plug in the back. And you can also connect it to just FM radio. It has an FM. Probably some kind of YouTube strike or something for that. Fuck. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, this thing is awesome, guys. So um, let me turn that off. So that thing's so cool and, like, retro-y and stuff. It's, like, perfect to put downstairs on my, like, uh, entertainment center or whatever. We could play music when people are here. And we can also take it places because it has this cool case. Um, and I actually don't have a Bluetooth speaker, or I didn't. So now I have one, and I'm not like a music nut, so like I don't know how awesome, like I know it's awesome, but I don't know if it's like, you know, um, crazy, got all this bass and whatever, it's kind of small, like, but for me it's perfect because I'm not that kind of guy, I don't, like I can't tell the difference between good good sound and shitty sound, and I just want to hear the song, and, and if it's a decent quality, that's great. Like I've definitely been able to tell the difference now between the airpods and the beats so like maybe i'll learn or something i don't know and then then i got this check this out they got me one of those uh knife cases i forget the company Harmon and something i think and you can put four knives up there and this comes off obviously uh, and then it has this drawer down here so you can fit another couple knives down there displayed and then fit whatever you want in there. But like, how cool is that? You know, um, I saw this on Jake's channel. He has one. Um, and I thought it was awesome. I just, I didn't get one because I don't have a ton of room in here to put stuff like a knife case. Um, and my other concern is always like, if I put knives in there, I can't really carry them. <laughs> so, and I carry all my knives. I don't have like safe queens, but I figure I could put like four heavy hitters in there. And then if I want to carry it, I just take it out. And I think I'm going to put a shelf in over here on the wall and I can put it up there and it'll be perfect. So anyway, those are the gifts from my buddies. That was our friends giving. And, um, I love those guys so much. And, um, you know, gifts or no gifts, you know, but, um, it was just awesome because those guys know me. Like, you could ask my wife when she said, oh, your buddy sent you something. She's like, oh, boy, because I'm so picky and, like, I hate everything. And, you know, but they know me, like, so well. I love everything they got me. So thank you, guys. I love you. Um, all right. So next up, I want to talk about 
the 24 hour live stream for knife rights it's knives live 2021 it's going to be on december 3rd through december 4th starting at 6 p.m on december 3rd on neve's knives and then it's ending on grateful panics channel i believe at 5 to 6 p.m december 4th um, I will be doing a two-hour slot from 10 p.m. to 12 p.m. This is all Eastern. Um, and I'm going to have guests on. I think so far I've confirmed Bearded Gear. So Jake will be on. Uh, Backpack B will be on. Uh, Stevie Wonder Woman and Brandon Thrasher. All amazing dudes. Um, and definitely want to get some awareness out there for, for those channels. Uh, Jake doesn't really need it. But the other guys, you know um they're killing it right now but you know if we can get them more attention that's awesome um and i have so i've we have a lot of stuff coming in so i will have at least two or three knives to give away myself during my segment and then we are amounting one hell of a grand prize uh at least as far as i can tell i i've reached out to a bunch of companies um I don't want to leave anybody out, but I've already got stuff from Vero Engineering, Asher Knife Co., Finch Knife Co., EMP EDC. Um, oh, shit. Who else do I have stuff from? KPL, um, Axial Gear. Um, did I say Quiet Carry? Like, I just, it's amazing, guys. I think Blade HQ is sending something my way for it as well. Um, and the list goes on a bit, guys. Uh, I know Doug Ritter is putting in one of his uh, Doug Ritter um, RSK knives. Um, so it's going to be awesome. That's not everything. That's just what I can remember. Leong Ma put in one of his spinners. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I just wanted to tell you guys about it. Go check it out. December 3rd, 6 p.m. on Neve's Knives. He'll tell you who's next. I posted a community post today listing the schedule and there's a link in there to knife rights where doug ritter posted about this and there's links to each channel and what time so i hope to see you guys there i hope we can raise some uh, awareness and some uh, donations towards right knife rights uh doug is doing an amazing thing for all of us in the community trying to uh wrangle these you know sh crappy laws that we have i live in pennsylvania and um, I, I might talk about, I will talk about this on the live stream. There's some weird laws here, um, about autos and such, and they're very outdated. And anyway, uh, it's an awesome cause. So please come out any $10 donation towards knife rights. Uh, you'll just shoot your receipt off to an email we'll give you. Um, and then you'll get an one entry for every $10, um, towards that grand prize and again if you're on my live stream uh i'll figure out how i'm going to do giveaways on there um and then yeah it's just it's awesome guys so anyway i also got in a couple of packages today so let's talk about that the first one uh, i already opened this but i wanted to show you guys this is the uh eric oaks oaks works uh osprey edx so i got number 92 of 262 M390, machine satin hollow grind, black twill carbon fiber, titanium frame bolster lock, stainless with titanium clip and spacer, integral with milled diamond texture on the bolsters, and it has a reversible clip, guys. That's one of the things that drew me in is that reversible clip. So you get that, and then you get the knife in this uh, thing. You get a pouch, which I'll show you, and you get this awesome giant cloth i mean look at this thing guys just a really nice buff cloth it's not logoed or anything um but i don't need a logoed cloth so that is awesome i know most of us will probably just keep it in the package uh, then you get this cool oaks works pouch and your knife comes in there and guys i really love this thing I don't, you may have seen, I actually got a chance, thanks to uh, Eric Oaks, uh, I was able to check out and review the prototype, which was in like a blue G10. Mine here is in this cool twill carbon fiber. Um, it's just a really sweet, uh, small size sort of EDC knife. It's not small because it's a 3.3 inch blade. But it's small in the sense that it's like thin and very pocketable. 
Um, the clip for me was a little tight today in my 5'11 pants, but I'm thinking maybe those are just thick seams. Uh, but it went in pocket fine. It just didn't go all the way down. Um, so it's not a huge deal to me. And it's awesome that I get to flip the clip. He put this awesome sort of um, filler tab in there, which is fantastic. And the clip is great. No wiggle or anything. Um, dead nut centered and the action guys detent is dialed drops like that and a couple of shakes you can reverse flick it <laughs> it's freaking sweet um you get a full grip or i do all four fingers back here and then there's this awesome choil as well to choke up you have a sweet hollow grind on here very thin blade not very tall but uh it has a, a nice hollow grind that really helps it get slicey um, I was testing, cutting a few things uh, earlier, and it's fantastic. And the action, guys, it's just really good. We all know Riot kills it. This is on uh, Cage Ceramic Bearings. I, I have no desire right now to replace them. You know me, I'm weird like that, but I'm not really thinking about it. I just think it's very smooth. It's dialed in right now. There's really no reason to mess with it. Um, yeah. I really like it. So that's the Osprey ED EDX. These are actually available on uh, Eric Oaks's website, oaksworks.com. So if you want to pick one of these up, I believe uh, one thing I really, really appreciate from Eric is that when I ordered this on pre-order for this carbon fiber version, I paid three hundred and thirty dollars. The uh, G10, I believe, is 300 and the uh, Micarta, the green Micarta, was 310 um, And now, if you want to buy one, this one is 360 And I believe the G10 is 330 and the Micarta is 340 So he actually added a few shekels if you didn't pre-order, which I really appreciate that because I'm, I, I'm honestly getting sick of seeing uh designers makers whatever drop pre-orders that i'm paying six months in advance for and then a week after i get it they drop them on their website for the same price um it's just annoying to me like give me something extra with my pre-order or add a little bit of cost to the ones you drop because uh, like emp edc he does that i paid 250 for my first nimble and then when they dropped, they were two seventy nine. Like that's how you do it, and that way people who are pre ordering they get a little bit of a benefit. Um, doesn't have to be crazy, just something so they don't feel like, well, why did I do it? Like why did I give you my money? I basically loaned you my money for six months. I could have just bought one a week after they got here. Yeah, you're not guaranteed to get one uh, on that drop, but like I don't know, it just bothers me. So anyway, that's in my pocket. And this seems to be turning into a ramble. So I guess this will just be knife rambles and uh, just shooting the shit on Black Friday is what I'm going to call this, I guess. I also carried my uh, Apache uh, kickstop with the Marvel Carbon Fiber today. Guys, this thing, I can't get enough of it. That kickstop is just utterly amazing. Um, yeah, I would love to see a Barlow pattern one. Um in the kickstop i would buy that so fast because i love that barlow but i just couldn't use the front flipper on these tiny little knives like trying to maneuver them left-handed was brutal but this thing is just amazing it's got clicks and clacks and it looks just stunning and i'm going all carbon fiber today guys i also have the dylan F mallory forest i mentioned earlier so i'm pretty much carbon fibered out today Another just amazing knife. Um, so, yeah, I'm blessed to be carrying these. Wearing my 5'11 pants. Thank you to Stevie Wonder Woman for telling me about those. If I remember, I'll link them below. But check them out. They're 5'11 tactical something pants. And then there's Vertex ones. I like those a little better. Um, and essentially, they have these extra pockets. Like, between your front pocket and your back pocket. And it's like a mag pouch, but I can fit an extra knife in there and then fit like my flashlight on the other side. So I don't have to, you know, fill up all my other pockets. They're amazing. I love you, Stevie. All right. So 
Then I have, uh, this here is from Vero Engineering. So this actually, let's see. This, yeah, that thing's slicey, guys. Let me see what else is in here real quick. All right, so we got some of the candies they always give with stuff, which is awesome. Uh, I believe we have like an order sheet or something. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, let's read this. So it says, hi, we wanted to send you a quick thank you for being amazing. We started this company as a passion project. It grew to something we weren't expecting. We have you to thank for that. Seriously, thank you. This has become so much more than a company to us. We look forward to seeing the posts on Facebook, pictures on Instagram, and the amazing emails you guys send. These ranger eyes are just a small thank you. There's something we've been wanting to have made for a while. They just came in, and we wanted to make sure you get them first. Thank you so much, Joseph and Michelle. Wow. I was not expecting a letter in there. That's awesome. Uh, Ranger eyes. So, oh, I think there's a sticker, too. Yep. All right. Did I get everything? Jeez. Okay. So, we got candies. We got a Vero stickers, and we got a letter from Joseph and Michelle, and I guess they're talking about these patches, which are cool, man. Look at those. So they're like little, um, can I open this? I don't want to rip it. Check these out. These are awesome little patches. So there's four of them in here. A couple of them say Vero and a couple, well, they all say Vero, but one's a V and one's their normal logo. That's really cool. Um, so these will obviously go into that grand prize giveaway I was talking about. This is for the 24 hour knife rights, uh, knives live 2021. So they donated those and they donated a blue washed fulcrum, guys. How cool is that? Um, I'm always amazed when I reach out to these companies and I and I pitch something like this, you know, whether it's some kind of uh, raffle we're doing or whatever. And man, these companies are so gracious. Um, it's 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 really humbling. Um, so check this thing out. I know Chris just got one of these Grady's gear, and um, Look at that blue, man. That is absolutely sexy. I hope that's coming through for you guys. Um, it's got the O-rings and the blue clip as well. <sighs> man, I might have to swap my used one in for this and keep... <laughs> I'm just kidding. You get extra bits, of course, and there's two in there already. I tend to keep a T8 and a uh, Phillips in the uh, bit holder because... I can use this as a flathead, and then T8 usually is for pivots, and most knives I have, T8 will work on the clip too. It depends. Sometimes you need a T6, but um, let me show you mine, actually. So here's mine. Uh, my brother Kyle, DTOM Knives and Gear, got me this sometime in the spring, man. I pretty much carry it every day since I got it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's the plain kind of tumbled one. And uh, I love this thing, guys. It's such a handy tool to have. Um, and this one is just sexy in that blue. So that's going into the giveaway for the grand prize, which is awesome. And, yeah, I got more stuff coming. I already have some stuff here. Um, so that's that. Ugh. I'm going to drink. And then I have a couple more packages. Thank you to Joseph and Michelle. You guys are amazing. I uh, really, really appreciate that. This package, oops, uh, is from Skiff Blades. Oh, you know what? Hang on. 
I think this is, um, I have a Horizon D in Riot knife for uh, Brandon Thrasher right now. It's his knife, I mean. And uh, I told him he should get the uh, skiff bearings for it because they make them. And he was like, all right then. So he ordered a set. These are the same ones that fit the Evo 2.0 that I have. It's a multi-row six millimeter by one sixteenth uh, bearing. I highly recommend these if you're going to um, get an Evo or the Horizon D. Um, I just think it makes a lot of sense. Where is that thing? Here's the Horizon D. Cool knife. I'll be sending the bearings and the knife over to John at Knife Nerd Reviews. He's going to try to tune this up a little bit because, I don't know, it's just, it's weird to me that it doesn't drop shut more for such a heavy blade. And the detent is rather light, so it's very strange. But he's going to take a look at it. He's really good at that stuff, and he won't do any damage, which I would probably. All right, so that's that. And then lastly, I have a package from my good buddy, Brent, over at Backpack B, who I was just talking about. He's going to be on my uh, live stream during the 24-hour thing. So Knives Live 2021. I am very excited for that, guys. It's going to be a good time. Uh, and just really want to get it out there, right? Promote that. And um, hopefully some smaller channels, you know, will be able to be on and guest on some other channels or host. We do have some hosting. And um, it gets them awareness. And most importantly, it gets Knife Rights awareness. And it gets donations going for that. And it'll totally be worth it. <laughs> uh, anyway, Backpack B sent me a couple knives to check out so let's see what we got here he stuffed this thing full holy cow okay so first up we have the uh oh this is a petrified fish beluga i believe i have never handled a petrified fish i've been tempted before uh oh it has a reversible clip it looks like mounts from the rear whoa that's awesome. Deep carry, too. That's cool. We got Gray G10. Again, sorry about the lighting. I'm guessing it's a little darker than usual. Uh, it says Beluga right there. You have a G10 backspacer and what looks like steel liners. You are dead nut centered. We have a front flipper, and it is a liner lock, so... Okay. G10's pretty good. It's a heavy boy. I mean, it's pretty heavy in my opinion, and it's very kind of blocky. Uh, definitely not my kind of deal here with the blockiness. I mean, okay, I'm comparing it to a $300 knife, but just look at the chamfering around the edges on this knife. Just look at that. That's what you're paying for. You know what I mean? You're paying for that along with materials and whatnot, um, but that finish work is just incredible. And um, you don't get that on a lot of these budget knives. Um, you do in some cases. Uh, but you're only spending, what, 45 or 50 bucks on this thing? Holy cow. Has a fuller. Oh, yeah. And it is kind of ergonomic. I mean, I definitely feel that blockiness. Um, but it fits my hand pretty well. I'm kind of feeling this right here a little bit in my palm. Uh, the liners biting me a little bit, but it's not bad. And the clip is very much out of the way. Feels good. Uh, we have another. What the hell? I do. I will never to the till the day I die. I will never understand why you're gonna take a steel like this. K110 is essentially D2, and you're gonna bead blast it. You're just asking for me to rust this thing. Like, I just don't get it. And then you have a fuller in there. It probably already has rust. I'll check. The lighting in here sucks. Like, it, yep, I can see a little bit of pitting, I think. Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's easy for me to clean up and all that, but it's just annoying that they do that. Drop shut, man. Has good detent. Has a good detent. And that, yeah, that fuller fires, guys. So I definitely get the hype on this guy. I know why everybody's loving on it. 
Um, I'd love to see somebody do a, a battle between this and the uh, the Kubi KU322, I think it is. The one that looks like the Arius, because they both kind of have similar, uh, I don't know, the size and the multiple deployments and all that stuff. Uh, different, but similar. Look at that. Yeah. This looks like an unforgiving flipper tab, though. If you don't get it right, probably hurts like hell. But so far, I haven't missed one. So I know this is a very popular knife right now. So we have that. We have this bad boy right here. So this is the uh, concept Shakira. I, I don't know why in my mind. I think it's the Shakira like the singer, um, the booty queen. Um, but I don't think it's actually the Shakir. I think it's like something like that, though. Uh, big ass knife. I mean, you're talking like a four inch knife here. Very nice burlap type micarta. It's really nice micarta, guys. Um, good clip. You have titanium bolsters. Um, I believe this is in 20 CV, actually, for once from Concept. They went all out. Dead nut center? It's close. It's really close. Let's give her a flick. Okay. Um, very big knife. You can see here. It's a big one. Right? Uh, got some jimping up there. Very interesting blade. Uh, this is their satin finish, which I just don't like very much. Uh, maybe it's stonewashed. And it looks, looks like a satin to me. I don't know. You tell me. I don't like these kind of like clean satins. Like I like a good hand satin, but I don't like when they do like an in-between. Like it doesn't have good grind lines, you know, but it's a satin, but not hand rubbed. It just seems weird to me. It still looks good. Um, I don't know. I know I'm being weird, but the action. So you got good access to the lock bar. Oof. Wants to take your finger off and it drops shut. Let's feel that detent. Detent feels pretty good, man. It's pretty stiff. It looks like you could front flip it. I'm afraid to cut my finger off, but I'm going to try it. Ow. Ah, I got it. I would not be doing that very often. Uh, it's a little scary left-handed because you don't have a clip to grab. But, yeah, I mean, you got a little poon right here. So you got, you got a poon spoon to reach into. Get your thumb in there. Lock it in. Um, I could definitely see... People who like big-ass knives loving this. Kyle would freaking love this thing. Pretty sure. Uh, reverse flick lefty. Uh, yeah, you can get it. It's kind of stiff. I don't know if I'm putting pressure probably through the micarta onto the lock bar. Because watch, right-handed, I bet it flies out. Yep, comes right out. So, I don't know. It, not my style or anything. A little too big, kind of. For me to functional like operate and have fun fidgeting with uh, but i definitely see concept up in their game here uh real quick let's see what's on the blade we have oh the shikari i was close you're not gonna see that seriously doubt it but i'll try i don't even know if i'm holding it up right uh morgan cones design 20 CV, and then there's a model number, and that terrible concept logo, absolutely just ugly as shit. Um, okay, so that's the Shakira, or whatever I said, Shikari, sorry. And then we have one more, oh yeah, this is the one I was excited for. Yes, okay. So this is the Kubi KU, I don't know. Oh. Come on, tell me on here. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Damn it. So this is a uh, another awesome design by my buddy Colin. So Colin Mason Pierre or CM Knife Designs. Uh, he's the guy I'm working with on my knife, or I should say our knife. Um, we are currently waiting on uh, finalizing prototypes, but he has a very cool design aesthetic. He lo he obviously likes holes for deployment. But he doesn't always use the same hole. A lot of guys do that. So this is his Kubi KU321, which I love this knife. Budget knife of the year material for me here. Um, 
And this is the new one, which it's the KU three something, right? Gotta be. And then I think there's a D at the end or an A because there's four different versions. Um, I'll I'll try to post a link below, but you guys probably all know already. Um, but yeah, I mean, he just kills it. This one's actually smaller than the Royal, I think. Yeah, slightly smaller than the Royal in the handle and the blade. Uh, it's got that red and black um, pattern going. So normally I'm not into red G10 or into a coated blade. But in this case, you have a PVD coated blade looks like. Or no, it could be a dark stone wash. So PVD coated and then stone washed or tumbled or whatever, which is, that's my preference, like a black wash if you're going to coat it. Um, and it's D2. So this makes sense because it's not going to rust. Uh, so this is probably the version I would pick up if I picked one up, I think. Uh, the action is not quite as good on the drop as the Royal is, uh, but the detent is better. It really feels good. There's no choil, but you can kind of flipper choil it. Uh, you got a nice sort of worn clip, sheep's footy blade. You guys know that's my favorite. I did a video or a reel the other day where I pulled out like 20 of them. Uh, the hole is amazing. It's just got good placement. You can get your thumb in there, flick it out that way. You can slow roll it out with your thumb. Uh, you can reverse flick it. Oop, my finger got in the way. You can reverse flick it you can then use the flipper tab and do a light switch or push button it. So you got like five methods of deployment here uh, and you're talking about a liner lock. So you got no issues with uh, getting pressure on anything. Yeah, I don't know. Do I like this more than the Royal? <sighs> so these are slabs of G10 and these are contour G10. That's what I love about this knife is how contoured and milled out that G10 is. Just gives it a real nice feel for, you know, 50 bucks or 60 bucks. Look at that action. Uh, D10 is definitely strong enough. Uh, thumb flick's not as good, uh, but the front flipper's fantastic, and the reverse flick is killer, guys. And the ergos are just to die for. So I think I would probably still take the Royal over this guy. Another reason is it's a little small for my hand. So that flipper tab kind of curves back. And I have a large glove size hand, so my pinky's starting to fall off. And you don't have a choil where on this guy, because it's a front flipper, you have this flat right here you can hang on to. Plus, I get a full grip back here, too. Um, so just because of the size, I think I like this one better. But uh detent wise and design wise i don't know i think they're both fantastic you guys know i absolutely love colin's designs um and i love the dude he's a really good dude uh and that makes me want to buy people's knives so i might end up picking one of these up i think they're on a black friday sale today so i think i might get one um uh, to support my brother um but yeah cool knife that's the uh ku3 something um, I'll try to put it in the description or something if I'm not lazy about it. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, guys. Uh, oh, uh, I don't have the mini Arian here right now. And I'm getting another uh, large Arian liner lock uh, because mine had a centering issue. So once I get those, I'll probably do a uh, budget knife of the year video. The Royal will be in there as a contender. And uh, my buddy John Evans, Javon, shout out to Javon, loaned me his riffle. Because um, you guys know I loved the riffle. I just, I don't know why I didn't keep it, honestly. Just budget knife, maybe. Uh, I think I'm going to get one again. Because uh, I really do like this knife. And you got to have some budget knives, man. You just got to. You got to have them. Um, it's just a fantastic knife. This thing is so good. That detent is dialed. Uh, it's actually, I think it's three for three now. All three that I've handled have had good detents, which is pretty rare for Civivi. Um, so those two will be in the running along with the Arian liner locks in large and small. Um, and we'll see if anything else comes up in the next couple of days or week or whatever. Um, but yeah, 
I think that's it. Um, anything else I want to talk about? Oh, I did do the uh, scale swap on the uh, F5 here. So Kyle sent me his and I swapped the scales out. So now mine is natural micarta and got the regrind from Knife Modders. Um, and I got the action and the centering dialed as best as I could. It's still slightly off. But, you know, I got to just deal with it at this point. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I loctited it, so there's no play. Um, do I feel lock rock? No, come on. Uh, yeah, might be a little bit of lock rock there. Of course. <laughs> of course. Something has to be wrong with the knife. The I don't know what it is, but the Micarta F5s, I just can't seem to get a good one. Um, yeah, now the detent feels weird. No, it's fine. Come on. That's good. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear it? I can hear the lock bar rattling. Fuck me. That wasn't there when I loctited it the other day. Now it's there. I wonder if it would survive a spine whack. Yeah, but a rattle's a rattle, right? Hey, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this to John, Knife Nerd Reviews, with the Horizon D. And I'm going to see if he can figure this out. He could probably fix that easy. Uh, it's probably something dumb, and he's good at that. And maybe he can get it centered as well, because I'm struggling with that. Seriously struggling with that. Um, and that should be simple enough uh, to do. But it could be, you never know, it could be their, their regrind maybe is slightly off. I'm not saying it is, but that could be a reason as well. But um, since I have the opportunity to send it to John, I might as well. I'll talk to him after this video. See what he says. It feels pretty good, though. Just, I didn't notice that that rock. So that sucks. But um, that didn't have anything to do with the scale swap because it's the same scale, it's the same liners and everything in this knife. So um, it's not like swapping with Kyle was the issue. Probably uh, me putting it back together was the issue. Uh, maybe just have to re- like take the liner out, put it back in or something. Uh, but I'll see what John comes up with. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me for this ridiculously long, stupid video where I'm sick and just rambling. Um, the kind of uh, gist of it is I love my brothers, Chris, Kyle, and Jake. Please check out Knife Rights Knives Live 2021 starting 6 p.m. December 3rd on Neves Knives. Um, absolutely appreciate everybody who's sending donations in for the grand prize. Um, that's awesome. And, uh, what else? Um, thank you to Backpack B for, uh, loaning me a couple of cool knives to check out. And, um, thank you to John over at Knife Nerd Reviews for helping Thrasher and I probably with our knives and getting them sorted out. So, uh, absolutely love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you 